Arsenal fans, you need to see what I've spent about 100 hours working on. Let's go to work. Cause I'm tripping. Gotta work on myself. Cause I'm falling apart. Please wake me up. Cause I'm slipping. Can fight this feeling off. No more. So you're probably thinking, what the hell? She makes art? What is this? Who is this? What is Golazzo? So my name's Fran, I'm 25, I live in the UK. I've designed a range of original hand-drawn Arsenal merch. This is a Gabrielle Martinelli one and wait till the end of the video, I'm going to give one away. But before then, I'm going to tell you all about it, everything you need to know and let's go! So when I say original hand-drawn, this is what I'm talking about. Here are a few of my recent drawings and paintings. There are lots more that you can see on my website. So it was all well and good thinking I'm going to draw what I love, sell these paintings and make a successful career out of it. But unsurprisingly, people don't really want to buy straight up art prints of someone's face for their wall, or at least that was the impression I was getting. And I can totally understand that. If you've just got a hyper realistic portrait of Saka, looking at you in the eyes <laughs> as you're trying to get into bed or trying to watch telly that could be quite unnerving so I had to try and think of a better way to make my art appealing to the Arsenal fan base other fans like me because when I was honest to myself I wouldn't want just Martinelli on the wall looking right into my soul no so yeah Arsenal art great but what's this got to do with merch let me tell you so while I was on Twitter struggling to sell like any prints, I was on Etsy, on eBay, whatever, no one's buying these creepy realistic <laughs> football portraits. I was seeing that, for example, the Jamaica kit, right, um, that Arsenal released and our very regular new merch drops were selling out on the day of release. I thought about a way that maybe I could incorporate my hand drawing and my traditional art skills to make appealing clothing for Arsenal fans. I don't know if you, like me, have ever struggled to find Arsenal clothing and merch that competes with everyday streetwear. I feel like sometimes you're either in a full Arsenal shirt or just in your normal casuals when you're seeing your mates. I noticed that there was a gap in modern graphic designs in the style of like Off-White or Supreme or Nike collusion brands like that i wanted to try and make like large graphic modern streetwear using that sort of styling but making it a football club shirt so you can wear it and still look like up to date with trends or wear it with like your usual outerwear so that was the kind of thing i'm going for All the things I did so i go and get my art scanned at the local print shop now i've got these digital files which i can show you here which are exactly the same as my hand-drawn artwork showing every single brushstroke. And now I've got these digital files that I can try and somehow turn into this graphic print idea that I've got. It took me months and months to try and get a design that I was happy with. I used photos of the Emirates Stadium in the background of this first range of designs and warped it to try. I wanted to have the player in the middle and then have the background kind of this swirling motion and then we've got font kind of inspired by these brands that I love. That's kind of a vague summary of how I got to my first design which was the black and white image of Gabriel Jesus which I put into a background. So I started just after uni with no money and from there I designed my website from scratch and I've set up like all the socials for this new business um, and my YouTube channel. I got a couple of these test t-shirts printed out um, from a supplier in the UK and I actually took them to the Emirates with my sister and my best friend and my boyfriend and my auntie to take some photos in front of the Emirates. For all the things I didn't know, the pain, the hurt, I let it go. cheeky you won't believe it actually we both put on my sister and i we put on one of the gabriel jesus designs and went into the armory the staff were all looking at it and i could tell they were thinking like 
where's that from? Like, that's not one of our designs. And we managed to speak to the shop coordinator and he basically said that the clothing was filling this gap that they have at the moment for graphic player designs. Apparently they used to have some in the armory and they don't anymore. And basically he'd be really keen to have the designs in the armory and that he thought they would be really successful and sell really well. But he's only allowed to give out the general info at Arsenal email address they can't give out personal addresses of anyone within the company so for the last year one eternity later i've just been emailing the general inquiries at arsenal email to try and tell them like about the situation about the products and see if they want to like take some of these designs or work with me to create some new ones so that's where we're at with the armory progress i'm just going to keep emailing them <laughs> maybe one day they'll notice who knows so many content creators have been so supportive already and you can see a couple of clips of them here <laughs> and she logoed my albert jt i'm gonna stand up a bit so people can see this it's my favorite bakaya saka these two people <laughs> and you've got the albert jt you know let me see if i get this right this it straighten it out there i have ordered one of the pieces myself you can now see a really ugly picture of me uh <laughs> modeling it as best i possibly can but it's a brilliant piece of work i can't believe those guys spoke about my work and i've seen it um, I was so excited and now we're moving into the next chapter, so it's just going to get even more exciting. I think I've explained the gist of it to you. Now I'm going to just show you a bit more of this hoodie. I want to send huge amount to charities like Mind, helping the UK like mental health services because God knows they're awful, uh, Gunas v Cancer and also worldwide charities that are important to members of our fan base and obviously, obviously. Um, other suggestions. To enter this giveaway, you have to tell me your favourite Arsenal moment ever, or football moment if you're from another club, and you need to like and subscribe to the video, and follow me on socials if you can as well, that'll help your chances in the giveaway. And then I'll choose a random name from the comments of this video to win a hoodie just like this one. They're worth £36.99 um, in the UK, but we do ship worldwide. So yeah, I'm gonna get one of them for a lucky winner in the comments. I've been Fran, my website's Goal Art, so hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Let's finish with remember to look after yourselves, your mental health, self-care is everything. Do something that makes you feel a little bit more relaxed today and let's hope Arsenal can get the job done and win the Prem. Oh, it feels scary just even saying that, but I'm behind them, come on you Gunners and thank you for watching.